My name is Christina Bennett. In 1981, my mother was pregnant with me and she paid for an abortion. At the abortion facility, she met a janitor who asked her if she wanted to keep her baby. Those words brought conviction to her heart and she knew she couldn't go through with the abortion. The abortionist pressured her to stay, reminding her that she'd already paid for it. When she insisted on keeping me, he yelled, don't leave this room. She ran out and my life was saved. This is why the topic of abortion is especially personal for me. And this is why I must speak out against the aggressive expansion of abortion under the Biden-Harris administration. Specifically, this administration is seeking to force all taxpayers to fund abortion. This isn't just about abortion being legal. This isn't just, if you don't want an abortion, don't get one. This is, if you feel abortion is deeply wrong, you'll be forced to pay for it. This isn't just my body, my choice. This is, you must pay for my choice to kill a baby. This would cause all taxpayers to be forced to pay for the exploitation of women and the murder of children through abortion. Let's make sure we know what we're talking about when we discuss abortion. Abortion is the killing of a child in the womb by dismemberment with forceps, suction tubes, lethal injections into the heart, into the head, and pills designed to starve a baby of nutrients. And these abortions are what the Biden-Harris administration are seeking to force taxpayers to pay for by eliminating the Hyde Amendment. The Hyde Amendment stops federal funds from covering most abortions. It was enacted in 1976, and for over 40 years, it's received bipartisan support. Former President Clinton and Obama supported the Hyde Amendment. For most of his career, President Biden supported the Hyde Amendment until this last presidential election when he changed his position. Thankfully, most Americans are against him on this. 58% of Americans oppose taxpayer-funded abortions, while only 38% support it. The Charlotte Lozer Institute estimates that since 1976, the Hyde Amendment has saved 2.4 million children's lives and continues to save over 60,000 lives a year from abortion. Defunding abortion reduces abortion. Even the pro-abortion organization Guttmacher Institute has said that removing funding for Medicaid for abortions would lead to 18 to 37% more children born. The abortion lobby says that the Hyde Amendment disproportionately affects poor women, but the solution to poverty is not killing poor children. No one should ever tell a woman that a path out of poverty is found by killing her own child. Removing the Hyde Amendment allows the abortion industry to prey on vulnerable, low-income women. The abortion lobby says that the Hyde Amendment disproportionately affects people of color. While we care deeply about the issues that people of color face, the solutions to systemic racism are not found in killing more black or brown children. No taxpayer dollars should be funding abortion, whether federal or state taxpayer dollars. It is a tragic abuse of human rights that abortion is legal at all. Abortion is not healthcare. We need real healthcare and greater support for children, mothers, and fathers. We want our taxpayer dollars to go towards prenatal care, adoption, childbirth, baby clothes, diapers, formula, things that families need. I was saved from abortion, and we must work together to save every child from abortion.